What is up? <laughs> Prepare to be sick of me. Right <laughs> now to be sick of me. I have loaded my soundboard up with so many clips and um, literally Danielle this afternoon, she was like, this is this is what I think of when um, because I always tell Danielle, like, are you sick of me yet? And and she was like, this is the clip I think of. And I'm like, well, that's going on the soundboard. And we have lots of other. (laughs) It's so good. Oh, my God. Um, So if you're new here. (laughs) uh, Hi there we've been we've been covering jesse lee ward in uh and i guess for more of a marketing like an unethical marketing perspective of the behavior and how it's harmful to the people she influences and in that unethical behavior we've seen misinformation we've seen um in our opinion in my opinion i'm uh, taking advantage of the people who look up to her and so we've been commenting on it you know, running our mouths on the internet. <laughs> so we're here to do part two. <laughs> I'm just a no jealous wonder. hater, okay? Yeah. We need a we need a new like we need a couple of good clips for like we're just haters and stuff like that. I just haven't found them all yet. I've got a lot of pyramid scheme ones and I'm I'm so excited about using those. Oh okay. Um hello everyone, ladies on lions. Uh is it Jenna or Gina? Pam, Root into Being, what's up? Kirsten, Video Enjoyer. Um, hello, Kay and Sky, Squid. How's everyone doing? Um, we have our you have your drinks and snacks and oh, I'm a bit fuzzy. Damn, I've I, my um my camera is being an asshole, so I am no promises. I'm probably gonna be fuzzy for the rest of the time and i think i'm lagging too let me see uh i have no idea why i am fuzzy um we don't know (laughs) oh my god uh danielle while i'm figuring out my technical difficulties can you um can you introduce yourself and tell everybody uh who you are and what cool things you do on the internet for sure hello everyone if i'm looking at my phone it's because i'm frigging around with my lights so if you want a certain color let me know and i'll change it anyways hi i'm danielle i make videos on the internet um i sometimes teach people how to run a business and sometimes i critique other people who pretend they're running businesses but are just frauds so uh over on my channel you'll find actual helpful information on how to start and grow a small business as well as me pointing out flaws in the business coaching industry where we see the same shit we see in the am i allowed to swear this soon oops the mlm industry with you know these coaches coaching coaches on how to start their own business to coach other coaches so the ultimate pyramid scheme of the business world so if you're interested in that kind of thing Come say hi. And if you're watching for my channel, subscribe to DC. I put her link in the chat. So um, yeah, let's thank you. go. And I just fixed my, um, I have these defaults that I upload. And someone in the comment section on the replay crew reminded me that I, I had forgotten to add Danielle. And I was like, oh my God, my forgetfulness is knows no bound. So I've added Danielle to my favorite streamers in the description below. Rude. Um, oh, <laughs> I know literally so rude i'm like danielle's too nice like why have i not been slapped um mary welcome to your first live stream this is a late night live stream we're so happy you're here hello from japan also i believe clown town is also live right now so go like their stream if you haven't already yes they are live they are talking about amare which is a whole it's a whole twisty moment it's awesome they're always a good time they're streaming with tish and they are incredible creators um it's no skin off our back if you want to go over there and watch or if you want to catch us on the replay um it's it's uh it's all good in the hood or that that's not inappropriate to say that's all good (laughs) that is all good (laughs) karina i uh, and yeah if you want to be lulled to sleep by the dulcet town the sounds of us raging on the internet we are not going to stop you let me go ahead and put the chat on the screen 
Also, Karina, I'm right there with you. I was literally jumping around before we got started here because I'm like, I can't yawn on live stream. I have to be awake. I know. I was like, hey, uh, so Danielle, I know you have a full time job, but uh, when do you want to stream again? Because, you know, part two. And she was like, uh, well, I mean, do you want to do it tonight? And I was like, well, we can. <laughs> and she was like, great, great. So excited to hear that. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. woo, woo. hey nancy welcome to the live um yes. okay Howdy. are there any industries you're looking to focus on for business coaches uh mostly i focus a lot kind of just on like these general life slash mindset coaches who teach you how to start your own coaching business they don't really have like a specific genre i know like the real estate industry is big on these coaches too if you have any recommendations suggestions my email's linked in all of my videos so send me whatever you got Yes. And um, I do have a cute uh, one of the Snark Cruise uh, kids actually joined us for a stream the other night and she or the other day and she recorded like lick the stream. And so we have the little lick the stream. We have that. <gasps> so <play>. cute. <laughs> um, so that was the best addition to the soundboard tonight. So let me go ahead and load this in there in local video desktop. We, we are about halfway through, and is it this one? <gasps> yes, it is. Okay. The trigger warnings in the, in, the, in the description, it's not a joke. Not that they're ever a joke, but please take them seriously. If you're sensitive to misinformation, to racial or racist comments, um, talk about... Um, severe medical diagnoses and if that's sensitive because you've lost people to the big c um classism uh just all the things that you can really think of were, were in kind of like did she really say that moments we're going to be hearing that tonight and so if if that is going to put you in a bad space where you feel slimed after the stream don't watch. There's going to be plenty of streams in the future that are not this awful, if that makes sense. Um, we try to not forget our humanity as we are commenting on this. We we do have a couple of rules because Jesse Lee Ward has been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. There will be no talks of karma in the comments. There's been too many people, good people who have come down with cancer who have passed away from it or who have successfully battled through it. And it, it cancer is not like karmatic justice or, uh, and so I don't want any of those comments. And the, how we deal with that here is if I see them, you're going to be put in timeout. If you do it again, you're going to be banned. This is the most unfun part of the stream, but we're, we're all humans here. We can, multiple things can be true at the same time. We can, hope her and wish her that she will get better and also say um, what you're doing right now to run your business is shitty. So here, here we are. <laughs> let me load up the video. Oh, let me get to the right spot. I think we were here. In the middle of it. Yeah. All right. All right. Not me. Okay. I just want to say happy birthday, Stevie. You said in the chat <gasps> your birthday. So happy, happy birthday. birthday. I'm not going to sing to you because your ears will bleed. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> oh, Marco Raid. What's up? Thanks, Marco. That's so nice we of you. We love it. Thank you so much, Marco. Marco is another creator on the internet. And absolutely happy birthday, Stevie. Hope you had a great one. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Marco. He tipped you in Canadian. He's ripping you off. <laughs> I say that I'm Canadian for the record, everyone. I like to make jokes about the terrible exchange rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank y'all so much. And yes, we will. We will take a cute um, lick the stream. Lick the stream <laughs> if you are, um, if you're just joining us. So, what did we listen to last night? Um, someone talking about all of their medical procedures thus far then saying that she's not going to be answering any more medical questions then she proceeded to answer medical questions and all the while 
continue displaying her consistent behavior of um, twistiness. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Buckle up. Yeah, Ed Milet's on the live. What are y'all doing? Y'all think that I'm joking. That's my business coach. Get it together. All right, this is for Andrea Baker. This is a clearance bundle caffeine-free with Mitoplex. Um, everyone's rushing over to Instagram. <laughs> Ed Milet's in the building. <laughs> I hope it's not because he's stuck on another plane. Um, <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm flying private tomorrow, and... Um, <laughs> I'm very grateful because Ed terrified me from his stories and we were texting during it and he sent me the video where he was in the toilet before he uploaded it. And I'm like, Ed, this is, this is not a good look. Like you, you need to, you need to get your jet back. Um, but anyway, so, uh, we just put, you guys Danielle's... Tell Ed, like, what you appreciate about I just put Danielle's channel in the comments. It is right here. It's, it's Danielle Ryan. So it, if you type in YouTube, I-T-S-D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E-R-Y-A-N, or just click the link in the chat, you can go straight to her channel. So Otherwise, you get Daniel Ryan, the country singer, who is definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Got him in the, in the comments on Instagram. He's still watching. So I'm going to grab these clearance, clearance bundle over here. Appreciate Marcos that. Marco's in Danielle's chat. That. What's up, you know, Marco? I kind of considered like putting the boss to rest a little bit and, and I was like, I'm going to coach you through this. <laughs> it's like, I would be a bad coach if I didn't tell you this. No, <laughs> like, you, you know, this is such an opportunity. Go show. Yeah, my camera, my camera setup is being trashy tonight. So there's not, I'm going to be fuzzy and it's probably uh, partially maybe my internet connection. So as long as Jesse Lee is clear and Daniel's, Danielle's hair is going to have to carry the stream. So we're, uh, we're just here. <laughs> I will try to fix it while we're listening. Yes. Everyone that you could have all the excuses in the world more than anybody and, and you're not. And I'm like, he's right, you know, when he's right, he's not wrong. So, um, but I'm excited. The power of one more. Yes, he is the author of that book, TikTok. Well done. Well done. I didn't know TikTok was educated like that. We'd love to see it. If you haven't bought it, you should. Um, let's see. Um, can you explain the roller coaster analogy again? Sure. It's just that like, Guys, you're going to have seasons of your life and seasons in your business. And so you're going to have moments that are super high up and there's no thought in your mind that you would ever quit. Maybe your money is the highest it's been. Maybe your influence is, is the highest it's ever been. Maybe you're just in, in super momentum and everything's coming extremely easy to you. It's like doors are opening all over the place. And then you're going to have times and seasons where it starts to go back down and it's easier to quit um, or it's easier to back off or it's easier to step away. And I'm not saying don't step away sometimes or don't do what is right for you in your business by any stretch of the imagination. But a lot of people quit, right? A lot of people literally get off of the roller coaster. Um, I actually got that from Coach Sean Gordon, by the way. That's not even an original of mine. But that's what I meant from that reel is it's like, just stay on. You know, like right now, it would be like if I decided to quit all my businesses, I decided not to do business coaching anymore. I decided not to keep touring. I'm not really touring, but like I'm going to a mastermind tomorrow, right? I'm picking and choosing things. Or I decided not to still recruit. I'm still recruiting. You can still join me in business. I'll still, I'll still coach you. Um, and all of these things, it's like that's just giving up. That's mm -hmm. getting off of the roller coaster. And I think especially if you're going through something serious like I am, it's easier than ever to just get off the roller coaster and throw in the towel and say, you know, no, I'm done. Um, I just don't think that would be a good example for any of you. So, so she's aware on some level that she is setting some kind of example for the people or who expectation, watch expectation, expectations. Yes. She's aware. Like if, she, she's if I aware. can do this, ugh, I hate it. So it, it seems now that she purposely doesn't give a shit about, um, the, the potential negative impact of what she says about how she is treating herself, her villainization of traditional medical care, just the privilege of having access to that, and then saying, you know what, throwing, throwing all those recommendations in the trash and I'm going to go whatever route, and then I'm also going to say this is the route you should take too. It's, uh, it's awful here. So uh, just stay on the flipping roller coaster. All right. All right. Um, so 20 uh, caffeine free. So banana daiquiri. Two. Ah. Uh, let me grab this really fast. Two. I need to put this down actually. This bag is two. 
two, bulk it. One sec. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We're just watching her count right now. All right. And uh, keto cake is going free in every single order. Definitely appreciate your leadership and your undying love for God. You're true to yourself and people you serve amazing in my life. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you talking to me? You talking to Ed? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I love that. Uh, you asked me about a guy you're supposed to manager. Okay, guys. So I Pam asked, is she still doing this because apparently her insurance is questioning her treatments? So she needs to keep making money from her downline if insurance denies payments. Here's my thing. Jesse Lee Ward makes a crap ton of money. That, in my mind, is unquestionable. She said over the past five years, she has made over $16 million from Prove It Alone. That doesn't take into account her investments, her hair salon, her car dealership, her other things that she's in. I think she makes a bunch of money, and I think that she can throw out whatever amount of cash she needs to to... Um, cover whatever treatment she decides she wants to do um i i know there's people who disagree with me on on that perspective I, I think that she makes a ton of money and i don't think that um she needs to be making more right now so i i don't know what your thoughts are about that daniel I, yeah i don't think that she's like working because she has to pay for things i think she's working to prove the point that like you should keep working no matter what like if mm -hmm. i can keep working while i have the big c you can't call me and say your mom died and now you can't work like that's yeah inexcusable it, yeah those, those, those to, small like, excuses position yeah those tiny excuses don't compare to what i'm going through. exactly because I, remember yep. that time that i had this and i still kept working so like it's something she can hold over them in the long term Absolutely. Okay. I don't have two accounts on anything. I don't, I have a business manager who is not on TikTok. My business manager is not on Instagram. My business manager is not on Facebook. My business manager's name is Josh and he's a Jewish white man in California. And if you're sending anybody money, if you're wiring people funds under the guise that it's me. Another, like why does it matter what, sometimes it matters if what people's, ethnicity is and religion is and sometimes it doesn't it just sorry i'm setting up my light to fix it because just problematic over here that's just like the point i don't get is why do we have to say that he's jewish who cares yeah and it seems it certainly seems that oh sorry it does seem that she cares after everything we've heard for weeks and weeks and weeks she can say all she wants that she's not all these things that people say, hey, you're being racist right now. Hey, you're being bigoted. Hey, you're fetishizing your boyfriend. Hey, you're doing this. Stop it. She's like, oh, I can't be because I like this person. And then that reaffirms that she is doing all those things. So exactly. Uh, and someone, I think, said that in the comments yesterday, this idea that she can be like, well, so-and-so is Chinese or so-and-so is Jewish. And then she like uses that as the preface to whatever the next racist comment is she's going to make. Yep. <gasps> mm, painful. And, and I was, I was having kind of a back and forth, not, not super back and forth where someone said, I, I don't, I didn't really understand why you're saying she's being racist right now when she's talking about using her nephews, um, uh, that he's Chinese as a way to get a discount. And I was mm -hmm. trying to talk through it because it's like, if you're, if you've never, if you're in a position where you're not a part of a minority group and you've never run into racism, sometimes some of the stuff is not apparent. Um, and, and, and we're all still learning here and it's important, even if we don't know about it, that we learn about it so that if we run into it, we can speak up. And that's my, perspective mm -hmm. no i agree <sighs> okay like i i love y'all enough to tell you you deserve to be scammed if you're that stupid okay <gasps> like if you're you deserve to be scammed if you're that stupid i'm gonna rewind it a bit sorry 
What the? And uh, keto cake is going free in every single order. Definitely appreciate your leadership and your undying love for God. You're true to yourself and people you serve. Amazing. And my life. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you talking to me? You talking to Ed? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I love that. Uh, you asked me about a guy you're supposed to manager. Okay, guys, I don't have two accounts on anything. I don't, I have a business manager who is not on TikTok. My business manager is not on Instagram. My business manager is not on Facebook. My business manager's name is Josh and he's a Jewish white man in California. And if you're sending anybody money, if you're wiring people funds under the guise that it's me, are you serious? Like I, I love y'all enough to tell you, you deserve to be scammed if you're that stupid. Okay. Like if you're sending people money like that, you, good God. No, you don't ever deserve to be scammed. If you, if someone is doing something where you get tricked, you don't deserve that. If you and and no. that is the perspective that we hear with so many of these people in multi-level marketing. They're a grown adult. They should be able to figure it out. No, it, you're scamming someone. They don't deserve that. Nobody deserves to be scammed. Oh my god, I hate this. I'm going to need someone to pay for my Botox from sitting with a scowl permanently on my face every day for four hours at a time. <laughs> yep. Yes. I think this is Ruthie's first live. Hello. From, um, and she's on your channel. What's up? It's a, it's, uh, I'd say it's a good time. Mostly it's a good time and it's sometimes it's a bad time listening to Jesse Lee. And uh, <laughs> my camera is out of control. Okay, let's go. I just don't know what's happening. There we go. All right, drives me crazy. Okay, thank you, Andrea Baker. Okay, thank you for your order. Yes, you can keep asking questions. Yes, Carol, you are a worry as well. You understand what I'm trying to say. All right, Glad you understand what I'm trying to, to say. But most people are saying what you what <laughs> the perspectives that you have are awful. The fact that oh, people deserve to be scammed. Well, what about people who uh, who were tricked by kind of an elite? kind of scam where it's super hard to get even if it's easy to understand it's a scam people don't deserve that phishing people don't deserve to have all of their information stolen people don't deserve to have all of their files held for ransom and and people paying money so that they can get back access to it people nobody deserves that just i think the lack um, of Stevie said it really well that she's being ableist by saying this when neurodivergent folks and disabled people and seniors are most often to get scammed in the types of scenarios she's talking about. Yep. That's a great point. 100%. Does she pretend like Bosley is different so she can pretend like she's not also a sadistic racist? So Maybe. the story of Boss Lee is she needed a persona to be able to do all the things in business that she didn't think her normal personality would be able to do. If you listen to her old podcast, if you listen to her old videos, she talks about the formation of her alter ego, her words, not mine, um, and Boss Lee was formed she'll talk about it like it's a completely different person like i'm introverted boss lee is extroverted and and literally she says that boss lee is is kind of the opposite of who she is as a person but and it might also be an excuse like you're saying that she doesn't get to take any of the blame for whatever boss lee says and because the fact she's just putting on a show yeah it's a it's an awful show Glad to see me. I'm glad to see you guys too. All right. Linda, Who's what's next? Up? Denise Lane. Thank you for your order. They're all scammers. Exactly. Uh, where do you order? Link in the bio. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, no, well, here's the thing is actually, um, I don't know exactly when because right now I'm dealing with some health stuff, as you know, but I am working on setting up a, um, a multifamily project. So that's that's multifamily properties, right? Apartment complexes and stuff and starting yep. a fund for, um, it'll be for people inside the, the Boss Lee Accelerator, right? Um, to, to invest in, but that will be inside of the accelerator so that I'm able to make sure, you know, the right people are in it. Yeah, and sure I, I do like to say this. I would like to, if we're going to talk about narcissism, I like to specify malignant narcissism because there's narcissists who are somewhat self-aware who are not bad people. And I'm not trying to defend everybody. I'm saying that there are some people who have narcissistic tendencies and they're still not shitty and they still 
Um, and I, I, and if you read anything by Stephen Hassan or some of the other experts in the field, it, and while it is not in the DSM-5, malignant narcissism is kind of an accurate description for cult leaders, for people who lead destructive authoritarian groups. And so I think that's a better... I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think it's a it's a more descriptive term for what for what Jesse Lee Ward does. So, um, hang on. Is she talking about Boss Lee Company housing, or did I mishear that because MLMs are so close to company stores already? Um, I'm not sure. Did you catch that, Danielle? No, I was a little bit confused. At first, I thought she was talking about community housing, and then she said Boss Lee Accelerator. Yeah, multifamily uh, unit investment. Oh. Uh, oh, God. If I she's in with know. Ray Higdon, that's twisty because the, Ray Higdon's probably in with Grant Cardone, and Grant Cardone is not in a good spot with the Department of Justice right now. So, ooh. That uh, these people are being vetted, that you're accredited investors, etc., and give you some extra opportunities. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But Instagram... These Bitcoin scams, all that stuff. Nah. Might apply flavor to another flavor. I don't know. Um, um, oh, my God. Summer oh, Love says, sense. I was I on the fence about your coaching, but I joined today. And just the resources in your app alone are so worth the investment. <gasps> Thank you. And welcome to the Accelerator. I'll see you tomorrow on the call. Um, where can you order? Link in the bio under trials. And I am giving free keto cake with all orders tonight. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Now, a couple of years ago. In 20, at the end of 2021 or 2022, when her group, her original eight were still very close, that she was helping them invest and she was helping them come together and put their money and do stuff. You have to go back to some of her lives to watch it and you can find those on Facebook. She scrubbed a couple of them from the internet, but where she was directing people like Brittany Anderson and, um, Sydney and Courtney to invest lots of money in different things. Um, and they were talking about how much money it was making them. And then all of a sudden, nothing this year. We've not heard one thing about the investments going on. So, yeah, it's it's interesting. And, and, and the interesting thing is when you keep track of something in the long term, it, it's interesting what is not being said now that was said before. Because um, are you putting the people who trust you in a potentially um, dangerous spot where they could lose a crap ton of money? That's exactly that they that they potentially are not in a position to lose. Yep. Love that. We've got Danielle on the phone and DC on the TV. Good evening. TV. Good evening. Woo -woo. Hello. <sighs> the biggest form of flattery is imitation, but let's not wire oh. money to it. I oh. love that. If you're on the fence and accelerator, you need to do it. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what about glutathione? If y'all make me talk about glutathione on here one more time, so help me that. Y'all make y'all y'all love making me repeat myself in these streets. You're not in Don't the streets. You? Your shirt is everything. Yeah, Jules. Um, this was sent to me by a friend, Randy. She sent it to me. Um, free keto kick going in order. Here you go. Uh, I do love it. Um, you're being, you've been looking for a company for a long time. I haven't found a product you really love. I'm starting to feel frustrated. Any advice? Um, big, I mean, you're on the right path, right? Have you been trying a lot of stuff though? Because there's a lot of amazing products and a lot of amazing companies out there. And the next thing I'll do is look at, um, is look at leadership. Um, you don't invest in Bitcoin? No, no, no. I have Bitcoin. I'm telling you guys, it's interesting to me that some of you literally buy, quote unquote, buy Bitcoin from people on the flipping internet. Like, that's not a thing. You don't need to buy from a broker on, on TikTok. Crazy. Crazy. Um, benefits of hyperbaric chamber. Cancer cannot live in oxygen. It's impossible. There was a Nobel Prize awarded in 2019 for that. For that. Apologies. Again, the misinformation. It, it, here's the tough part, too. When you're reading, and, I, and I'm not saying I'm an expert, when you're reading research that was done and it's posted on academic sites, you have to know like how, to, you have to learn and be taught how to read it. Because if you don't know, you can assume that the paper or the study is saying something that it's not actually saying. And 
her just saying cancer can't live in oxygen. Well, what does that mean? And what does it mean to her large audience who looks up to her and who is influenced by her? And, and uh, that's, I think that's an honest, I think that's a, a, not a dangerous question to ask. I think it is, if we answer it and whatever the answer is, it either helps the people who look up to her or it warns people who look up to her that maybe something is not right with the information that's being um, expressed. Exactly. Oh, and oh. I want to add that, like, we don't know where she's sourcing that information from. So if she's saying, like, you know, the Nobel Prize was given, blah, blah, she might have heard that from her coach or Eric Worre, and now she's, like, spewing it as fact. So it's just, like, very dangerous to understand that, like, she's not a scientist. She probably, like, I don't know, maybe she knows how to read peer-reviewed articles, but... Maybe she doesn't. And maybe, like you said, she misread it or whoever gave her the information misread it. But now she's spewing it as fact. And that's the super dangerous part. Yeah. And most of the time when you are listening to ethical scientists or people who have their PhD or their MD and they are reiterating or they are explaining a, a peer reviewed study or a, a paper that's been published, they're going to say this is a complex thing we're talking about and they're going to say the parameters of the experiment and they are going to say here's the guardrails that we need to put up before we discuss that so that there's not assumptions made and you're not basically um, participating in confirmation bias or you're not filling in the gaps with your own knowledge because this is exactly. limited. Drawing conclusions where they don't exist. We see this a lot. And again, I always, I feel like I always do this in every video, but I have a video coming out tomorrow on oh, the like fake connection between quantum mechanics and the human mind. And what we see in a lot of these creators who talk about, you know, how you're how to use quantum physics to get whatever you want is they take real life scientific quantum physics principles and they try to attach them to logical thinking and how the human mind works. When, if you know anything about quantum mechanics, it's completely random and you can't control anything mm -hmm. that happens. And so because one person reads this one study and they think like, oh, how could I apply this to my real life? Suddenly they walk around using these scientific terms and then all of a sudden people think it's real science. And so essentially what I'm trying to say in sharing that, connecting it to this, is that if you use scientific terms and words that sound like science, it makes it seem like what you're saying is legit when you don't necessarily have the understanding to support whatever it is, like whatever conclusion it is you're trying to draw. Yep. And I think that's why it's important to have more videos like this. Um, Where uh -oh, we're calling it out. Yeah. Looks like dad, someone named dad has joined the chat. What's up? You're lost. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. We're just joking. Oh, okay. I see. I was like, what? <laughs> Um, if you're just joining us, this is Jessie Lee Ward. She is a self-proclaimed herself. She has proclaimed this, that she is the number one network marketer in the world. She then removed that from her bio and she conditioned, uh, qualified her statement by saying she's the number one uh, network marketer in Prove It. And it oh. is, yeah. So she used to, oh, dad is a big YouTuber. Hello, I I am new. Hi, I'm new to the internet. What's up? Your 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 handle is great. Um, and so, uh, it's a twisty road with Jesse Lee Ward. Uh, Danielle and I know each other because of the Columbia fiasco, and that is where she took people who earned a special trip with her to Columbia and trick them into going on an 18 hour hike with not enough water, with not enough food, with no informed consent, and then proceeded to say that she did nothing um, out of the ordinary or nothing wrong. And she um, said that we twisted everything, even though um, I and Julie, Joe and Aaron and uh, Danielle reacted to the video that Jesse Lee Ward posted herself. And so we've been covering this. Um, unfortunately, Jesse Lee Ward um, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. And um, we're trying to be respectful. And also in the slivers of saying, 
you should not use your diagnosis to weaponize phobias of your audience to prevent them from getting um, tried and true and tested medical help if they have access to it. And she's doing that. She's doing, she is um, personally profiting from her diagnosis and using it to sell more accelerators and more ketones. And it's wild so far. And we've also uncovered all of the racism and fetishization and bigotry and all of the things that she is saying. And, 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 and. <laughs> oh, so here we go. Finding, um, which is another reason why all the COVID stuff is very scary because you don't get as much oxygen when you wear masks, right? So anyway, the hyperbaric chamber oxidizes your body, pushes the oxygen under pressure into um, extremities in your body. So that is the, uh, that's the game in the hyperbaric. The hyperbaric chamber is in the front of my, the front of the penthouse has the hyperbaric chamber. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And 15 mitoplex. The mitoplex are super important, by the way, okay? Um, they help you from getting cramps and headaches. So please hydrate yourself, okay? Okay. Educate these fools. <laughs> Love, thoughts, and prayers in Jesus' holy name. Thank you. Appreciate that. Happy Holy Week, by the way, guys. Resurrection Sunday is coming. Um, what are your thoughts on onboarding system for someone new? Um, I have an entire software program. I actually started the company. So that's how I, on I learn onboard people is through um, one duplicatable system. I am not down with people who claim to have systems, but you don't really. One, two, three, four. Her systems that she's talking about was a uh, Facebook bot and also her unlisted videos on her YouTube that were monetized, which, okay, I feel like that's a little bit like skirting the line of unethical, but to each their own. She's saying that she had some kind of incredible system. And if you follow Aaron Bees, I'll drop Aaron Bees' channel in my chat. Um, Nightbot will list it for you. She was on, she was part of the original 14 that came over from Modair to prove it with Jesse Lee Ward. She ended up kind of having a wake up call left and has trying to be trying to help educate people ever since she's a military veteran and she's a mom and she's a wife and she's um, super into debunking stuff and she's super chill. So she's a great follow. Danielle is not in the same chat as me. Yes, we are. We're streaming to both channels, so you will probably see a combined list on the screen. So. Five, okay, six, I'll find it later. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Um, when is your book coming out? <laughs> well, um, I have to write it after I cure myself from cancer, you know. Uh, because that can't kind of needs to be in the book, you know what I mean? It needs to be in the book. Uh, yeah. So when, oh, she's so pretty. My dog is not in here. So I think you're talking about me and I appreciate you. Thank you. How do you get started selling trials? As soon as you join out of the promoter link, um, grab a mega pack and then our training talks about that. Uh, how to colonoscopy good. You know, it's crazy. Everybody should have the ability to get colonoscopies and not everybody does. They didn't want to pay for mine. Because I had no pre-existing condition. Can you freaking imagine? Are you going sh quiz or hot? Oh, is this, for, this is for Denise Lane. Thank you for your order. What am I packing? I'm packing up trials. These are oh. therapeutic ketones. Nightbot is a um, thing that I use that's free. I put in commands that I type out. So I've gone in and said, when I type exclamation point, Danielle, I want Nightbot to say, um, Hey, I'm going to pretend like you don't know who Danielle is and say, go sub and then put Danielle's link. So I've done that for other creators. So it's me talking to Nightbot and Nightbot has permission to post to my chat and that's what it is. So it's not a person. It's, <laughs> it's <a> combo. <laughs> in an hour or less benefits are fat loss muscle preservation better sleep skin mood yes, focus, they, did. they did get a scan and they did not get it all so they may have gotten it all a month ago when they took out 
the cancerous part of her intestines and the 30 lymph nodes they removed, but more of the lymph nodes now have cancer. And this is devastating because it would it is more effective, and this is my limited knowledge, you physically remove a lot of the cancer and then you start chemo immediately. It, it, that's more effective than removing all the cancer, than waiting 30 days and then deciding if you want to do chemo. Now, that's everyone's personal decision, but she is making it seem like the doctors are on a conspiracy against her and against people being well, that they're being paid off in some you know, wild, this wild, super complicated conspiracy that the big pharma wants to keep people sick so they can keep making money. And (laughs) it's life and people and companies are more complex than that. And the people who do go into medicine more often than not give a damn about the Hippocratic Oath and doing no harm. And to, (laughs) to scare people preemptively who would benefit from medical care is wrong. And I think that it is vile. It's twisty. It's, <laughs> it's awful. Oh. Oh. Hit the digestion. Link is in the bio. Trial link. All trials tonight will go out with a free keto kick. This is like five hour energy, but with no crash. Hey, Appreciate all the nice thoughts and comments like that. I used to love praying for you and listening to you about the business. Yes, you can ask business questions, ask anything. Where is Sasha? He's in Switzerland. He lives in Switzerland. Um, can you order some of the new? Mateo lives with his girlfriend too. I'm not saying that. I think that it is odd how she preoccupies the time of guys on her team. Danielle, she went on a whole tour with Courtney's husband for like four weeks. When? With Josh. Last year. I'll have to send you all the videos. I feel like I've missed so many things. Yes. (laughs) Flavors. Um, I have a bunch. Yeah. Um, Anyone thinking about joining your coaching, the first level breaks down is $75 a week. I I was spending that on Uber Eats. Get in there, people. Girl. Girl. Thank you. Wait till you... Wait until you're on a call where I'm actually coaching. Tomorrow's going to be a good day for you. Tomorrow's going to be a good day for you, my friend. A very good day for you. Uh, For a lot of people, um, the first time they hear me coaching live, they're like blown back. I'm a really good teacher. You shall see. You shall see, my darlings. You shall see. What I recommend for the first time, I would grab a clearance bundle and then I would grab Mitoplex with it, please, so you don't get cramps. I do too, T. Insurance is a scam. Yes, I don't want to talk about it. I just talked about it a little bit on TikTok. What area... Wait, what is a scam? The... Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. ...ketones, they put you in ketosis in an hour or less. Benefits are fat loss, muscle preservation, better sleep, skin, mood, focus, energy, and digestion. Link is in the bio. Trial link. All trials tonight will go out with a free keto kick. This is like five hour energy, but with no crash. Appreciate all the nice thoughts and comments like that. I used to love praying for you and listening to you about the business. Yes, you can ask business questions, ask anything. Where is Sasha? He's in Switzerland. He lives in Switzerland. Um, can you order some of the new flavors? Um, I have a bunch. Yeah. Um, anyone thinking about joining your coaching? The first level breaks down is $75 a week. I was, able, I was spending that on Uber Eats. The ring is a Cartier ring that Avi got her. I don't think they're married because he is not divorced yet. So it is more of a like promise ring. But it is a new one because she lost her original Cartier ring when they were in the Bahamas on her prove-it trip. And so he bought one for her to replace it. So it's... (laughs) Why do I know all this? I don't know. Please get in there, people. Girl... Oh, was the ring a gift from Sasha or from Avi? I thought it was from Avi. Thank you. Wait till you wait till you're on a call where I'm actually coaching. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day for you. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day for you, my friend. A very good day for you. Uh, for a lot of people. And one um, and the other ring is a uh, is an aura ring, the one that tells you your sleep stuff. The first time they hear me coaching live, they're like blown back. I'm a really good teacher. You shall see. You shall see, my darlings. You shall see. What do I recommend for the first time? I would grab a um, clearance. 
the Cartier necklace, the one on that's the circular one that looks like a ring that's on a silver chain with the diamonds in it. That's the one that's from Brian Underwood. I know there's a lot of jewelry involved. It's it's confusing. And then I would grab Mitoplex with it, please, so you don't get cramps. Insurance is a scam. Yes, I don't want to talk about it. I just talked about it a little bit on TikTok. What area in Miami will you be in tomorrow? Um, so hopefully you guys have. That is a good point. I hope the ex-wife marks that down for the divorce settlement. We are keeping a file if she ever wants to reach out to us with all of the videos and pictures of them together um, so that if she ever needs it for the divorce, she has access to it and so do her lawyers. So we will write that down as well. DM me the word meet up, one word in my in your dm i'm gonna be doing a meetup in miami so oh is it a self-love ring from dm Dr. Dr. Mateo? Mateo? i thought it was not miami um okay. and we'll be doing a meetup it won't cost you anything all right if you can find me that if you if you know the live that it was in melissa i'd love to see that just your love and affection <laughs> oh how am i doing today i'm doing great guys uh chris shane chris Christine Roth is getting two love bundles and I need to grab another one of the blender bottles because it's not over here. So um, these are totally sold out now though. So uh, I need to grab another one, but I'll do that one next. So I'll put Christine's to the side really fast. No prob for all businesses. Correct. How am I going to Toronto? Um, when I get booked and paid to teach at an event in toronto uh <laughs> i was in toronto almost exactly i think it was the first live she did packing trials after her surgery okay i'll take a look at it i have it on my computer a year ago this is another love bundle i have to well i guess i can pack this one really fast come on, come on. Come on. Come on. this one too hey baby yeah. do you know where any more of these are why would he know? It's not his business. This is the thing that irritates the crap out of me. I never expect my partner to know anything about what I do for a living. He asks, obviously, but it's like, it's your responsibility to be able to run your business by yourself. Why are you asking a guy who works a full-time job where your ketone stuff is? Oh, because he's perfect. I forgot. She said that yesterday. Oh my god. Yeah, that's enough you do for sure. Or not. Put this here. No probs. Is that wild of me to think that, Danielle? Or like do, I mean I, I know everyone's different. I'm not I'm not trying to force my like worldview on anybody. It just is just it just seems wild to me. Especially when it's like physical inventory for your business. I feel like it's different yeah. if you're like, oh, have you seen my sweater that I left on the chair in the kitchen? Not, yeah. have you seen this specific box of inventory that I use to run my business and ship out to my customers? <laughs> yes. Yep. I, I honestly think it's just a way to like include a conversation with him in her videos. Yeah. So do you think that it's more of a dig at his wife or do you think it's more of like, uh, a puff up for herself that oh yeah did you ever forget that i'm in a relationship with avi and he's here right exactly. now exactly i mm. have a boyfriend and he lives in my house with me and actually he's here right now and i'm gonna talk to him mm. that's so i just can't i don't know i i guess i'm being mean being in the commentary space on the internet that just seems so cruel <laughs> to me and knowing it's like very high school that's true. That's very true. No problems, Bobs. <sighs> I'll do that one in a minute, too. Love the accelerator. Thank you. Where you find accelerator at? Link in the yep. bio. It's Craig. The coaching link. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's probably also my story, if I could guess. Um, yes, you can ask business questions. You can ask whatever you guys want to ask. Well, maybe not whatever you want to ask, but I will answer business questions. All right, we got um, Ant Midnight. and a I have seen him on Bumble. Follows a bunch of women on Facebook that look the same. They look like Jesse Lee Ward. I feel she has no way to bring him into the live. Mm. 60-hour metabolic 
Reboot for Lupe. All right. Hey, Tanya. Instructions go in the orders as well, in case you don't know. Sending love from Australia. Thank you. I love you too, darling. 60 hour reboot. This is a potentially uh, this is potentially a dumb question. There's literally no dumb questions. Um, but does she have any example case studies from her accelerators? No, she does not. She absolutely does not. Other than she said that she sold out uh, trips for the accelerator in certain spots. I she has no proof that what she does works. She recently did like a testimonial video selfie thing from the people who are paying for the accelerator, but that I don't I, that wouldn't count for a case study for me. Um, so I but know in my be heart, surprised how many people that will work on. Yeah, and it's like <sighs> that's just it feels super unethical to me. It, it would be different if they said here is. Result X, Y, Z that I got. I was having problem A, and when I used the accelerator, I came to solution B. And yeah, my life has say, changed. I brought in $14,750 last February. I started the accelerator this February, and accounting for the regular growth that I have year over year, it was above and beyond that regular growth of whatever, the 0.5% that I see every year. And so I attribute all of that to the accelerator. Exactly. That would be different. That would be different. So, um, Bam, he is in construction. I think that he either does custom home building or commercial building or something of that sort. Um, so he is working here in Texas on something and comes home and helps Jesse Lee Ward with her ketones at night. Keeps track of the inventory because she okay. can't. Yep. The shirt says cancer. You picked the wrong biatch. Oh, Randy. It was so nice of her. I love it. I just have to locate it, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. So brand new Nat Black Cherry Amp Midnight. Um, I do yep. have it. So I think there's like one left. So <sighs> I've actually been following you since the Ash Blonde days. Wow. I will tell you if I do end up having to do chemotherapy i'm going platinum blonde the week of and having a freaking photo shoot because y'all you do not want to be putting bleach on your head the week before your hair falls out because chemo makes your skin like burn so it's just yeah what <sighs> okay okay i don't know i just for those i wish she would if she i wish she would start chemo i I wish that she would advocate for her health in an aggressive way that would that is more likely to give her a fighting shot if she wants to fight if she wants to live the best quality life she can with the little time she has left that's one thing but what she's doing now it's heartbreaking oh. those of y'all who um, have not seen uh, me with platinum blonde hair before Ooh. Smoking hot. I know. I'm not dressed for success right now. I just talked about, you know. Oh, you're saying, but, like, this is dressed for success. I, I, I see what you're saying. Uh, so, can I see your tattoos, please? I feel like you can see them. Whoop, some of them, anyway. Um, Lupe, thank you for your order. You know what? I didn't put a keto kick in there. I got to cut it open and tape the bag shut. And be all, all ghetto fabulous about it. No problem. All right. Here we go. Keto kick. Boop, boop. And now I gotta take a shot. Oh, can't wait to see you. Da, da, da. I don't sound like that's okay. My energy is great. I've been really good at um, taking the time to break, take rest, um, spending a ton of time in my healing and not really doing much else. So, um, what can I say? What can I say? Uh, it's been interesting. But my energy is great, and um, I'm a little tired today, though, but that's because I didn't get home from Taylor Swift until 1 in the morning. So that is a good four or five hours after my bedtime. So, whoo, blackberry pineapple I do have, yes. Um, be your skin color of hair, thank you. What's the favorite tattoo? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's easy, actually. It's my love Nana tattoo. It's my favorite. It's one right here. Yep. My, my love Nana She's tattoo. using her phone, not a real mic. Keto kick variety for Sonia. Love it. Do you mentor people running their own businesses? Yes, I do. I do, I do. Link in the bio for that as well. You can also just go to bossly.com. Sorry, the book you recommended by... How is this not, if you read the the prove it um, contractor agreement, how is this not a violation to be selling your own business uh, service, your accelerator, along with in the same live selling ketones? How does that not create a an issue? Because a lot of times, for example, not that all contracts are the same, but in my Young Living one, it said that I could not have any other product on the same table if I was going to a trade show that was in direct competition or another multi-level marketing company. I couldn't have them in the same story. I couldn't have them on the same table. So how is it that she is, hey, people are here for ketones, and while I'm warming them up for that market, hey, just skip over and join the accelerator. I just I don't see how that's, that's an okay thing in Prove It's. Um, in prove its world my only like wonder is if she's using the accelerator to filter people in to prove it mm. i mean it's like a win either way for her funnel? yeah yep that's right It it's a twisty funnel <laughs> rules for thee not for me Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all, if you um lick the stream. remember to please lick the stream that is uh if you are on my channel and you haven't already licked uh, Danielle's stream, I would recommend you doing that as well. It helps other people who are interested in learning about ketones kind of see the real story behind the scenes and stuff like that. Tony Robbins Life Force, absolutely loving it. Oh, it's amazing. I'll change your life. I'll change your life, potentially anyway. I mean, like, Tony Robbins in that book literally says to go... Get a full body MRI, and he says to uh, order the gallery grail test. And so I did those things, and I found cancer. So thank God, right? How can I order Marlene? Great question. Link in the buy order trials or full site. Um, but I'm packing trials live, as you can see. So this is um, the keto cake funnel. You're going to get six keto cake. But since she ordered, um, um. when I said every single trial gets a free keto cake. No, um, I'm not sure. If anybody does know, feel free to put it in the chat. She's going to get seven keto kicks instead of a box of six. The keto kicks are like a five-hour energy with no crash. And they are getting shipped priority, so you'll have it in, you know, two days or whatever. Um, one day, two days, whatever. They ship priority. What book was what? Oh, Life Force by Tony Robbins. And actually, um, I'm so thankful. Like, I'm so freaking thankful. So um, I'm hiring somebody, and uh, she has worked with Tony Robbins for 10 years. And she was like, oh, girl. She's like, no problem. I'm texting Tony right now about you. And I was like, he's not going to remember me. And I was like telling her about something, and she's like, I'll be right be back. I have to go grab my cat. And so I sent her okay. a photo of, like, the first and the second time that we, uh, we met, actually. And uh, we'll see. But anyway, she's got... She uh, she basically was like, yeah, Tony's not going to accept that one of his friends, because you're all your friends with all the people he's friends with, uh, doesn't get cured from cancer. I said, oof, I received that. Thank you, Tony Robbins. Um, you just joined oh. in. Hi. Pray for me. Thank you. Do I, still I, there's so much to unpack right there. <laughs> oh, my God. We need a floof break. Oh, my gosh. I love your cat. Y'all. very old. He's so sweet. Yes, everyone's going to talk crazy. meowing. <gasps> oh my god. Tony Robbins don't give a F about women. I don't think so either. Yeah, definitely not. Was this filmed <laughs> on a potato? You know? Did you watch yesterday's video? I went on a five minute rant about the shitty <laughs> video quality that I cannot stand. <gasps> It's just, it's just wild. Why do all these high-level coaches not encourage her to actually take care of herself? I don't know. 
I don't know if it's because they feel good that someone is taking their medical advice, even though they are not a medical doctor. I don't know if they feel like, well, they're telling people about me, so I'm getting good publicity. I don't know if it's because they actually believe the stuff that they are shilling. I, it, it is confusing to me. I'm sure that if we talk to a psychologist, we'd get more insight about this because it seems complex. It seems, it, I don't think it's as simple as this is the reason, you know, I think it's multiple mm-hmm. things. Um, and I just, to be honest, uh, Tony Robbins knows who she is by having an assistant who figures out who she is and tells him. Mm. They will use her as promo if she beats cancer. Yep. And and even all of this, even all the twistiness that's going on, I know Danielle agrees. We hope she beats cancer. I, I, I at least I do. I know that I feel like Danielle has said that too. I don't wish her any harm. I would never wish cancer exactly. on my worst enemy. It has, cancer has devastated my family and my husband's family and people I know. It is an awful um, disease and um it it's it's not only just painful and debilitating for the person who's going through it and dying from it but the people who are going to lose a loved one it that hole is never filled again so i just i hope she gets better even if it she thinks that it's all of her pseudo shit i i hope she i hope she gets better Ugh. Oh my gosh, they all love your cat so much. <laughs> I love this. Still believe in 90 day runs? Yes, of course. <sighs> Go to bed. Sorry, gotta take a breath. Lay down. Sorry. I have to take a breath every once in a while. My, uh, my lungs, something's up. Someone was telling me that they had an anesthesia and they were given a device or something to uh, uh, help with breathing. And I don't. Uh, I I wonder if Jesse Lee was given the same thing. It's basically for people who may have a negative reaction to anesthesia and it helps them breathe or something. I I don't remember what it's in the comments of the video from yesterday, but I, Mm -hmm. I hopefully that she maybe called her doctor and said, Hey, look, I'm having an issue with this. What's going on? Because guess what? They probably could give her, you know, the nurse practitioner, the head nurse, the doctor could have told her to do something. I just... Exactly. The, the worst thing I'd wish on someone is a paper cut before they put on <laughs> hand sanitizer. You know what? Same. <laughs> oh. It's called an incentive sp- uh, spirometer. Okay. Red, uh, red chair knits. Let me put this on the screen. It's called an incentive spirometer. Most patients are given them after extensive surgery. Thank you so much for saying this. Yes, Shelby said it too. Everyone knows the name of this except me. <laughs> it's I had no problem. idea. <laughs> Thank y'all. Not I a love doctor. how smart the live chat is. I love how smart y'all are and you keep the, the stream moving. And streams would not be as much fun without an incredible live chat. And I think Danielle agrees that, that she appreciates the live chat as well. So Otherwise, I'd be <laughs> yawning. <laughs> Four. There's no cancer in my lungs, by the way. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> oh my gosh. 11, 12, now you're a lawyer? 13, 14, 15, what? This is incredible. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, mm-hmm. so Miami vibes. So this is 20 different flavors in the parents bundle, by Super the way. Super chat for you, Danielle. So I have uh, Miami vibes. Per- oh, Super chat coming you. in hot. How old is your cat? He, he's 12. His name is <gasps> Firefox, like the internet browser. Oh, my God. That is the best <laughs> cat name. Firefox? Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that so much. <sighs> What's wild is that there's 150 people in here and only 93 likes. You know what? <laughs> what y'all shame. doing? Yes. <laughs> <lick the shame. laughs> pear, watermelon sweets, banana daiquiri, green apple, wild tiger, pudding pop, oh my Thai, hibiscus lemonade, rainbow candy, blueberry acai, 
Raspberry Lemonade, Berry Blue, Mojito Nights, Splash, True Passion, Lime Time, Heart Tart, Strawberry Peach, and Blackberry Pineapple. So it's a hell of a bundle. How am I doing mentally? I'm genuinely crushing it, and I am so thankful for all of this. Golly. Um, my gratitude for network marketing oh, thanks and for personal Becca. development. <sighs> Unbelievable. My frontline already has access to Business Camp. It's a great time to join me in business. You just had to go to, uh, if you're already in business. So uh, was this video taken right after her MD Anderson procedure? There's another one. There's the one in a pink hoodie that we reacted to. Um, that's even wilder than this one where she called some doctors, whether it was the MD Anderson ones, but that's what it led me to believe that she was talking about them or the surgeons in Dallas that they were chemo pimps. Yes. Chemo pimps, which sounds kind of slanderous to me, but who, what do I know? I'm not a lawyer. All I know is like, I would be pissed if I was out there saving lives doing the most to give people the best recommendations to give them the best chance of fighting a, an awful disease. And then to hear online that 45 plus thousand people had heard a patient calling me a chemo pimp. I would be pissed. Exactly. Business and you didn't attend our, our team event. Um, you're probably on a wait list for it, but, but frontline does have access to it. Anella, thank you for your order. Um, honey, any chance the iron is dropping? It affects your breath. No, my iron levels are fine. My lungs have, um, it's in my, my PET scan. I read it. It's something. And they said it can be caused from anesthesia and since I anesthesia twice. Um, I think that's what it is. They said there's some benign something, something in there. So there's a pink, um, I think it's the pink stream. They, like, there's two cover photos. Um, I don't know if that's the one right after she came home. I reacted to one, and then Julie, Joe, and Aaron did. Then Danielle and I reacted to one. Maybe it was the one I did on Instagram, but she was saying about how she, uh, it was the one with Courtney in it. So I think that Julie, Joe, and Aaron reacted to it. But she did that mm -hmm. right after came back from her treatment oh this child is um amber and i's um daughter and she gave us permission declan is also getting royalties from us using this so uh this is amber and i's kid and sh she said it on a live stream when we were doing sip and snark so i got permission and there's no video so that's who we're exploiting <laughs> So what can I say? Um, no, calling network marketing a gift is the understanding of the century. Um, I think about not only the money I've had to spend on this, but also the relationships. It started people. in Julie Joe's chat or uh, Aaron's chat and people started saying lick and then it kind of spread to other channels. So that's why we say lick because it's more fun than like so. That I've coached in particular and also people who have coached me um that have been there through this i can't imagine like i can't I, I don't i don't feel alone at all um i have no grape so got you girl um keisha are you on here um you're not on here yet but i will pack your sign i will remember that um breathe your nose and blow out the candles that was a great tip thank you all right, um, 15 Mitoplex and five of the uh, Ant Black Midnight. All right, one, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Blow out the candles. I like that. Y'all are so great. <clears throat> yeah, this. <clears throat> Atelcatidasis. I don't know what the hell that is. Acute atelcatidasis. La, la, la. Yes, what does that mean? You, all the Nelsons, you seem... He's petting my baby. Um, you seem educated. Talk to talk to us about that. Unless you're gonna scare the crap out of me, and then just you know. Let's keep it on the down low. Oh, by the way, I have some Chinese herbal remedy uh, that the acupuncturist gave me today. I'm really nervous to drink it because she said that it doesn't taste good. Nuts. That's why um, we. That's, that's why I included the clip that we showed yesterday with her saying that she was getting special treatment from the acupuncturist because her nephew is Chinese. And that's why we kind of broke that down and why that was so problematic because this live happened on the same day that that clip was taken from. 
So here we go. Here we go again. Treat you like we're gonna treat we treat you air sacs have collapsed. Right. So how do we make them not collapse? You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Uh, anyway, smell the flowers, blow out the candles. Oh. <coughs> All you need to do is deep breaths and cough. Pops them open. Got it. <coughs> like that? Am I popping them open? Listen, I'm coachable, man. <coughs> is that good? Just coach me, man. Coach me through this. I'm not going to listen to my doctors, but I am going to listen to someone in a live chat on the live stream. Random stranger who could be posing as a medical professional. Like, what? Okay, I have this analogy that this was like from my grade 10 English teacher who told me that the internet is the equivalent to finding a piece of paper on the ground, picking it up, reading whatever it says, and believing it to be true. And I will never forget that. And now anytime I learn anything on the internet, I am like, I cannot believe this to be true. <laughs> That's so smart. That's so <sighs> smart. Yeah. And that, this is such a, it's an odd thing to, to view from the outside looking in to see the distrust that she has for medical professionals and the absolute trust she has in the live chat. It's such an odd, like so backwards. To see both of those back and forth and watch like, wow, someone who went to medical school who would probably be in a financially bad position if they gave out bad medical advice. So it's in their best interest to do the best they can by their patients to not be trusted. And then someone who's, read stuff on Google is giving her advice. It's just in that she fully believes it's, it's twisty. It is, you know, it's, it sure feels twisty. Mm. All right, Christina, thank you. Oh, mother trucker. Girl, I forgot to put your <sighs> keto kick in here. How many fur babies do I have? I have uh, that's making me, <gasps> that's making me um, lightheaded. Hey, Diesel. That's okay. If I faint on here, will somebody come over? Oh, not too hard? I'm doing it too hard? Well, y'all gotta, like, warn me. You know I'm all in. I'm all in. Whew. I'm lightheaded. Whee! All right. What can I say? Uh, smell the roses, blow out the candle. I am. I'm smelling the roses and I'm blowing out the candle. No problem. No problem. No Are problem. you saying that people get on the internet? They were help they're helping me get my lungs. I know. Can you believe it? Deep, slow, deep breath, and then cough. <laughs> I, and and not, not, not to, like, toot our own horns. That's why, like, we do hella long live streams. Because I want you to watch the video in its entirety. Can we do that every time? No. But I don't want people to... I don't want to take her out of context. What she's saying is too important and too dangerous. And, and if we clip it, then we're participating in some kind of information control, in my opinion. And so, like, I don't want any part of that. If we have to do it, well, not we. If I have to do a million live streams to get through something, that's fine. But I just don't, I don't want to participate in, in making it seem like I'm somehow being dishonest and, and twisting Jesse Lee more than, than she's going to twist herself by, by speaking the, the entirety of what she wants to say. So, it's exactly. just... Ugh... I don't like it. Like a fake cough, right? <gasps> That's right, Nick. Go to. I don't. Go to, I can't. Wouldn't a speech therapist or an occupational therapist or a physical therapist be able to do this with her? I don't know. You would think. Cough. I'm doing it. You're making me sweat. Listen, I mean, I read that report on that PET scan and I, I had a moment. I was crying again. It's crazy. So, I do, I never half ass anything. I put my whole ass into everything. All right? I put my whole ass into it. There's a lot of eggs. I'm trying. Trying. Triangle tape your tape. The reason she is aggressively blowing out now slash coughing is because someone in the live chat told her to do that. Uh, and not to discredit any of y'all in the live chat, I, because I know some of y'all are super smart. It, it is 
it, the difference being y'all always say if you have access to a doctor or a physician, go to that person and seek medical advice from someone who is a trained and licensed professional. That's the difference between y'all and other live chats, in my opinion. You're going to say, this is my experience. Always go and talk to a medical professional. Advocate for your, for your health in a way that's that's based on a very strong foundation of science and licensure. Like, give me a break. I know tab your tape. Save your nails. Oh, I need to get my nails redone anyway, but I know what you're saying. You're smart. You're smart. You're a smart girl. Small girl. All right, let me get some more water. This is her, this is her um, water, her special expensive water that's sold out everywhere that is alive water and not dead water. Or no, that's olive tree people. Uh, it, or it's oxygenated something or other. It's wild. Um, it's ca cocoon water. K A Q U O N. Yeah, it has like crystal in it, I think. Yeah, it's something. Breathe out slowly and completely through purse slips. I thought she meditated every Hi, day. thank you for thank your you order. Thank you for your order. Heidi is getting her nails redone. Oh, 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 oh. Heidi is getting... Yes, she can't right, get you know, MP Anderson. Uh, there is a confirmation that we can't share that she actually went there. And um, I don't know in Dallas. I know lots of naturopaths. I know the acupuncturists. I know the um, all the other people that... Now, I don't know them, but she keeps listing all the people she's going to see. Box and flavor Metroplex. All right. All right. All right. All right. You love to see it. Yeah. La, 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 la. Yes, link Thank in the you. bio. You can order trials. Correct. Like that? Okay, the thing I'm remembering is a strip search phone call scam. It's pretty horrifying and pretty upsetting, so be mindful if you look into it. Thanks for that. What did the PET scan say? I don't know. Um, I read it, and I don't think I read it right, so... Your doctor's supposed to help you. Again, you have to be She's trained. Harder than the doctor, that. though. Yes. She doesn't need the doctor. Told them they yeah. She can just Google they it. Me and they called me past business hours on Friday, which I don't, um, I don't answer, because I really like that if I don't answer that, then it's like... The doctor called her to give the results of the PET scan on Friday, called after business hours, and she didn't pick up the fucking phone. I don't like that. Oh, my God. Tell me you don't take your health issues seriously without telling me you don't take your health issues seriously. I... That's wild. Um, how do I explain this? <laughs> when I don't answer it, I like it because I really like the weekends where it's like doctors don't exist. You know what I mean? So they went past my business hours, so I did not review my scan with them. I was not interested. A doctor was so. willing a doctor was willing to call you after their business hours probably were over to tell you probably something important about your health and and sticking <sighs> I'm trying to say this with grace because I know that people there are some people that watch my live streams that are huge fans of Jesse Lee Ward I'm it is not fun to butt up against this type of misinformation and this type of um denial one because I was negatively impacted by health misinformation it is a dangerous thing to just let run freely in your life and i you know i i hope she gets better but but how is she supposed to make a well-informed battle plan to fight her cancer if she doesn't know the factors exactly love my shirt thank you <sighs> thank you nick oh, appreciate you um, do you have any issues when you send the can keto up an envelope, not in a box? Nope. As long as it's double padded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Eight, nine, ten. Am I doing good? She does have insurance of some kind. It was above what she had. That's why she had to pay the deposit at MD Anderson, the $17,000. And so um, I will tell you, without a doubt, she can afford, in my opinion, the treatment to treat her cancer. She makes far and above enough money. Um, this is not a situation where we have a small MLM player making it seem like they're richer than they are, living a lifestyle that they can't afford. Jesse Lee Ward has a shit ton of money. And she's revealed her pay stubs on lives before, she on stories before. She revealed the other day that how much she has made over five years in Prove It, which is $16 million. She can afford the care. She absolutely can. They're teaching me how to keep my lungs open. So the pet scans a bunch of lies. <gasps> Y'all are so useful. I love the internet. All right, here we go. Business questions. What colors do I The PET scan was a bunch of lies. I, I hate this. Damn. And then she has people in her live chat that are reinforcing her perspective. Exactly. You're in denial? Let me cheer you right on. A live chat, let me just tell, let, let's just have a heart to heart for a second. If I'm ever spewing shit on the internet, I fully expect y'all to give me a digital slap. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not, I don't want y'all to be an echo chamber. It's not like rah rah D DC and Danielle. Like, if we're saying something wrong or we get something wrong, call no. me out. Seriously. Oh. I like um, black, purple, gold, usually. Suggestions uh, in hot pink. Suggestions on how to do and how, on what to do when going live to not sound. Uh, it's gonna go, go off in a minute, by the way, and then I'm gonna have to um, come back live on on Instagram. Okay, hold on. Not sound salesy. Only type of business. I own a pet business. Okay, so I would probably brand your business around the pets. Just so you know, I gave this advice to shampoo cheese which is now a ridiculously expanding super successful pet grooming company um and she was kind of she was still making it about herself i said dog owners literally don't care about anybody else we do have evidence that she did go to md anderson so from so that's all i can say dogs they care about theirs so um just keep keep that in mind is basically what i said and she's been crushing it ever since so I would do that. I'd brand these dogs. And then the other thing is, guys, if you're in sales, it's okay to be salesy. Like, I think y'all need to go to the link in the bio, okay? And you need to order some ketones. They put you in ketosis in an hour or less. The benefits are fat loss, muscle preservation, better sleep, skin, mood, focus, energy, and digestion. Plus, I'm entertaining you. Plus, you get me distracted yep. from the big right. C word. Like, be a good human and order some ketones. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm in business, you know? So I don't ever feel guilty about talking about my business or expanding my business or talking about... Um, my accelerator coaching or any of that, right? If you don't want ketones, that's fine. Um, I should be your business coach. So go to link in the bio and join the accelerator. You know, that's your, that's your other option. Those are your two options. Um, mm -hmm. but anyway, so, uh, I love the business coaching though. It's, it's a great joy of mine. So thank you, Tristan. I appreciate you. Ketones will, level, will for sure up level your business. Also true. I noticed Brittany and anybody listening that my business exploded when I started drinking ketones because my focus was so ridiculous. I've always struggled with focus my whole life. For the first time ever, I wasn't. This is for Lauren DeWitt. Thank you for your order. This is a clearance bundle, all caffeine, and of course, a free keto up. All orders tonight on the trial link are coming with free keto up. And I'll be right back, Instagram. It's going to shut you down in five seconds. So just FYI. All right. We'll be right back. Ooh. Okay, Stevie. Right. Save your battery power. No, they definitely do not have anything to do with my cancer. My cancer probably is environmental, though. Um, they did say that. So my brother's having some, some major issues as well. And uh, so if I could guess, it's from growing up uh, with super unhealthy lifestyle because we didn't have a lot of money. So um, super processed foods and etc. We're going to shame food now. Are you serious? 
Yeah, what? And I thought that it was confirmed that it was genetic, because last time I thought it wasn't, and someone in the chat corrected me that it was. So she so she has a genetic, genetic um she has a genetic uh something where like it is more or likely, something? yeah she has a mutation that makes it more likely that she would have gotten cancer. Okay. So yeah, Jaina, I'm confused yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's us being confused by things that Jesse Lee Ward has said herself. It's genetic and then now it's environmental or the environmental put, pre put you know, did stuff that her genes were going to mutate and they did because of her environment. But you're shaming the shit out of people who have to eat or it's perfectly safe to eat canned vegetables and stuff like that or even frozen vegetables. It's just the... This gets complex because there's so many different ideas around food. There's there's idea that that there's so much food shaming that goes on. And if you don't talk to a registered dietitian who's been trained in this area, you're going to pick up certain ideas around food in general. So I don't know. It's just twisty. So uh, I got the chance to experience Boston's coaching. Let me tell you, it was pure magic. Thank you. All right, let's rock and roll with this. Purple, I do like purple a lot, yes. All right, we're back, Instagram, woohoo! Boyfriend is impacting with his time. I love listening to the questions. No, not this time. Um, he is not. Why? All right, let's see. So you get instructions, and then this person's getting 15 Mitoplex, and then also 20 different flavors of ketones. Yes! Hey, Jess, hey, Sammy, how are you? You should truly appreciate, appreciate the sales coaching, of course. Yeah, you guys can ask any questions. I'll answer them on this live. So, um, yes, you love the benefits of motivation you'll receive. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm a very tactical trainer. I always have been. Uh, I never liked getting on coaching calls with people where I felt like I wasn't learning anything. So I wanted to be somebody who you get on the call, you have directions. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From what I remember, the doctors were saying that there are younger people showing up or coming in or being diagnosed with colon cancer because of the lower fiber diets that some people are eating. And that is a fact. That's something that they are seeing. And naturally, some of you might think she's been on carnivore for several years. Did that? Was that a stressor? for that mutation. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not in the science field at all. I, I don't know. This is a twisty situation with all the misinformation going on. So I don't know. Good night, Rebecca. Good night, Rebecca. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That just pisses me off that she took an appointment of someone else that needed it and wouldn't have called pet scans fraud and not there for serious plan and treatments to get better. Yep. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so I made my coaching program completely different. Like it's not about motivating yep. you and exactly. rawing you. It's so much 100 more. 100%. Appreciate Andy's the fun. prayers. Thanks, guys. Yes, you can ask business questions. I'm packing up trials. Hi, how are you? Um, and then a free keto pick. Here's for Lauren DeWitt. Thank you for yes, your order. Yep. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Hugs and love, thank you. How was the concert last night? Good, but too damn long. Um, is your excited for all kinds of business growth? Yes, it is. With a lot of real estate people, brick and mortar, and then of course there's a lot of network marketers um, because that's where I started my business with network marketing. So that only makes sense. All right, this person has two love bundles. Still praying, thank you. How often do you and Ed meet? We meet every single month for an hour and then um, in person before and then after. I'll also see him next month on a golf thing. Um, I'm going with Tim Tebow and oh, Ed Mila, Dan Fleischman um, and a couple other friends to a golf place thing. What is it called? Golf uh, tournament, charity event, golf course. Um, if I order, can I request my flavors? Kind of, yeah, if I'm still on, if you order quickly. <laughs> um, uh, you're, you're welcome. I don't mind sharing it all. I'm glad I'm inspiring. 
Uh, and so we're going to a golf course. I have to learn how to golf in less than a month. But anyway, that's not related to that. But what do we do? She said something around the hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know for sure. I'd have to go back. I've been covering a ton of different MLMs. I've also been going through my own stuff in my job, so I don't remember off the top of my head. I know it sounded extremely expensive when she dropped it. She seems to get some kind of good feeling in herself when she name drops or when she says how expensive something is that she can afford or something along those lines. So I don't know talk about it really depends on what i need and sometimes well when i was in the hospital and we had our call he was kind of just rambling i don't really remember much about what he said to be totally honest uh but i have the recording of it thank god and he talked about uh things that motivate people differently like some of you would be really motivated if i was your coach because i genuinely care about people and i'm very um i'm yeah, and this is a good example if y'all, if uh, people, and, and this is a perfect example because uh, Janet did that the right way, but if, if you're going to comment about um, the suspicion if she does have the big C, do what Janet did here and say, in my opinion, um, out of respect for, um, just out of respect for the, the toughness of the conversation. So that's perfect the way that Janet did it. I'm very consistent and some of you like that I'm a little bit wild so there's parts of my coaching that there will be things you don't even expect right some of you you really like the stability some of you are going to love um, that it's very um, that you're going to feel significant because people will be like your boss is your coach um, there's a, so anyway what I'm doing right now by saying all these things is thousands uh, of people there. there's six different ways that people are motivated to make decisions on Facebook she could have 7,000 people watching so when she'll end a live um, the last one the other day had 6,500 views on it when I went to go download it. Uh, Instagram, um, it ranges. Uh, so, like, people will hop in and pop out, but she'll get, like, 15,000 views sometimes, not all the times. But she will not save her Instagram lives. She only saves them on her Facebook, so she pushes her Instagram audience over to Facebook. Same thing with TikTok. Um, so that's how she gets around creating unique content. Um, because she thinks that people, she's so, she, she shares such outlandish things that she thinks people are going to want to rewatch it. So then they have to cross platform. So. Decisions to do things. Some of you will join because it'll be the best knowledge and coaching and training you've ever seen. It's going to blow your mind. Oh, moly. I had no idea. That that yep. And everything in between. So he taught me that, but, uh, we have a lot of conversations we do a lot of brainstorming. Um, there's a lot of him pushing me. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of him pushing me. There's a lot of him making connections for me that I wouldn't be able to have otherwise. Perfect. Um, Bam said, sometimes from my experience works just like, in my opinion. I don't know. It's Thank just you. really everything that I needed in a coach. And also for me, it was really beneficial for me to have to spend that kind of money. Very expensive. It was $175,000 for six months, six hours, if you look at it like that. And um, it makes me show up in a totally different way. So, Wait, did she just not drop the price right there? I think she did. Let me go back. Sorry. I zoned out for a second, but then I heard something about six months. <laughs> yeah, and we'll, I'll make sure to caption this um, tonight. I'll put it through my caption service, and we'll it'll have the captions on it in, in the morning, too. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of him pushing me. There's a lot of him making connections for me that I wouldn't be able to have otherwise. Um, I don't know. It's just really everything that I needed in a coach. And also for me, it was really beneficial for me to have to spend that kind of money. Very expensive. It was $175,000 for six months. $175,000 for six months. That's crazy. Wow. Wild. wild. Hours if you look at it like that. And, um... It makes me show up in a totally different way. So. If she has $175,000 to drop on a training, she has well above the amount of money to pay out of pocket for, for treatment. Exactly. Holy moly, that's more than most houses. Holy shit. Yep. I use... 
I use my exp- uh, I use in my experience when talking about narcissism because I can say my mom is a narcissist. Yep. Like, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but who's spending basically $30,000 for an hour. This was a live she did the other day. We reacted to it the day after it happened. And it was too long and too many emotions involved. So we did part two. Um, there's like a limit of how much Jesse Lee we can take at one, at one sitting. So, and four hours is not it. Yes. <laughs> hour. Um, yeah. I'm going to take it very seriously. You love my hair like that? Thank you. Um, how do you coach 10 people at once? Easy. It's group coaching unless you pay for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I really do like the one-on-one -on -one coaching, actually. But um, obviously, it's cost prohibitive for some people. So well, I just have not to everybody have can do that. Not that I group could coaching. afford to have like a time afford for everybody to be coached for any one-on-one -on -one either. But uh, yeah, yeah. One sec. I did that little triangle thing. So like 650 of us will be on Accelerator tomorrow live. So do I talk? I talk to Andy often. Andy and I message Andy Priscilla often. Um, but I, and he messaged me the other day. He said, once you're cured from all this, um, you can come up to First Form and we'll give you a locker, aka I'll be on his podcast. So that'll be a really big, um, really big full circle moment for me with Andy. Actually, that'll be really cool. So um, obviously he's a he's a good working all night on identifying so many species of insects for a test. I'm old and go to bed earlier than this, but your life helps so much to keep me awake. Y'all are awesome. Thanks so much, Andy's Web. Dude, good luck on your test. <sighs> all right. Seriously. Christian, here, Christine, here is your um, order. Do you still do Monday onboarding for your new first lines? Um, we no. Don't, we never did onboarding on Mondays. We do have um, frontline training on Mondays, yes. Uh, you're getting super burnt out on MLM. Not a hater. It's just time for something new, but thoughts, LOL, clue. Yeah, I mean, you could try anything. You try. I don't know how much money you're looking to make. Let's start there. How do you live for your coaching group um, every single week? Um, you have a blessed night, you too. See you tomorrow. Tim Tebow is your neighbor. I love that. That is very funny. I love that very much. Um, one sec. What type of person feels better by name dropping their friends? Like... I just, I've never gotten that. Like, I, I never feel like that I would need to tell people who I am friends with. Who gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand it. Is it just an ego trip? Is it, like, it's like an you feel better? Thing. Oh. Right. <sighs> he wants, like, the validation of, like, I'm good enough to be able to hang out with this person. Yeah, but like, wouldn't so, that break kind of their trust if you're name dropping someone who might be famous or, or is famous or wealthy or whatever? Like, wouldn't that be kind of like a red flag for that person because you're the one like saying like, oh my gosh, I'm friends with blah, blah, blah. Hey, Kira. Yeah, like I totally agree with you. I just think that she's doing it because of that. So it's like if you are a celebrity and then I go around being like, DC is going to let me live stream with her tonight. And then you would kind of be like, that's fucking weird, Danielle. Why are you telling people that? <laughs> and I'm like, everyone thinks I'm cool now because I'm friends with DC. So yep, jokes on you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm going to print your guys labels. Give me one sec. Why did she not have an assistant uh, to do Number one gifter, thank you. DC is a celebrity. Okay, I'm oh so God. sorry I misspoke. Well, I uh, <laughs> I appreciate that you that you believe I am healed. Thank you. I I believe I am healed too. People are like, how are you how are you how are you doing? I'm like, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Uh, so don't you worry about me, sweetheart. You know. Uh, what can I say? What is so, with the accent? Elka, my girl. Mexican Mac Shadow bundle. I knew you were gonna like those. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. what's the best way to educate people who think say ketones is an MLM or pre scheme? Don't. You can't educate stupid. Well, I guess you kind of could, but I don't think there's enough brain cells in there poisonally. In my, wait, in my opinion. Yep, on the last live, so the one that uh, I reacted to on Instagram, I think, I don't remember. She said, yeah, he's in California seeing his kids. 
Then he came back a day early from visiting his kids to go to a Taylor Swift concert that he didn't want to go to. Apparently, she got the tickets to the Taylor Swift concert from Terry LaCour, the owner of Prove It. So it's just it's it gets twistier like you're going to not spend more time with your kids to come back to go to a concert when you're still married i don't get it i just don't get it (laughs) good night ladies online good night sleep well opinion i don't think there's enough brain cells in there um it's just not worth your time and there's so many people who know that it's a legitimate business so i don't spend any (laughs) My shirt says cancer picked the wrong yeah. It's harder. Okay. Yes, just send me a DM and I'll send it to you. Um, do I speak Portuguese? No. 10K months. Yeah, you could do that easily. Affiliate marketing, you could do it in UGC. You could do, do it in a job, to be honest. Um, you could do anything. You could do blogging for $10,000 a month. You could really do um, Uber for $10,000 a month. You just have to be good in it. Um, an Uber. Um, why is this acting broken? Let's not do that. Um, I will tell you, brick and mortar is the hardest way to make ten thousand dollars a month. Uh, maybe not the hardest. Has yeah. anybody like got you on the six hour it's a day tough mindset for me yet? Do because when you're not showing, other than you say like if you're in physical pain all the time, but you look like you are a healthy, able bodied person, and you have to con- keep convincing people that you're actually sick. And that there's not like the test results are coming back. It's that's why I'm not the right person to engage in the conversation because it's too painful for me to have that or on my stream right now. But I'm happy to let y'all talk about it respectfully in the comments and logic through it in the comments as long as we're using, in my opinion or in my experience, um, out of respect for the people. Um, who do struggle with that conversation mm-hmm. so. i have no idea what that is uh just say what's that what's an mlm what's a pyramid scheme most people can't really explain it <laughs> literally we all can uh, your energy is different uh, da, 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 da. uh i don't know what you're trying to say about that but thank you uh do usps fedex come to your home or sh- yeah they actually so i live in a high rise and so they come every single day to the bottom so i'm filling this cart over here and then um, when I go to walk the dogs in a minute, I'm going to wheel it downstairs. And that's that. So if you're behind on the Jesse Lee Ward drama, let me let me sum it up in 30 seconds. Jesse Lee Ward was diagnosed with stage four cancer. There was a lot of sympathy that was extended to her. And in the the space, in the, basically in the same breath of her um, telling us that she had stage four cancer that she was going under surgery to get it removed. She began platforming her diagnosis as a way for her to make money to weaponize people's phobias about the medical care system, why it was actually evil because she was there firsthand seeing how many chemo pimps she was running into. And in this whole, in the space of her doing this kind of unseemly, Uh, dance with her her diagnosis and her profiting off of it it came out with court documents from the court in california that her boyfriend avi is still married and um so we saw the court documents we redacted them we showed them on stream and come to find out avi was on bumble they connected about seven months ago and he never went back home. Since then, since the divorce filing, he has gone home to visit his kids. And only when J- uh, Julie Joe and Aaron revealed the court documents did Jesse Lee start going on this PR campaign to tell us how good of a father Avi was and how best guy person he is. And now we're here listening to more medical misinformation. (laughs) So that's about it. (laughs) Oh my God. Nope. We'll leave it there. And then tomorrow morning, they come really early here, like 8 a.m. 
So, um, so you want to start a business with your own government assistance. I would do all things I just said. Those are all great ways to start network marketing, affiliate marketing, UGC, um, Uber Eats, that kind of stuff. The thing is you have to have the mindset that you don't want to be on government assistance for a long time. Oh my God. People you have to be in the mindset that you don't want to be on government assistance for the long time. What ableist bullshit is this? I just cannot. Also, can we not encourage people who to use any money from any source to join an MLM, please? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No matter where the money's coming from, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. There's so much, there's also shame associated with taking government assistance when there shouldn't be. And if, if a feeling is getting in the way of you reaching out and accepting help that's available, that's going to keep you and your family fed and alive, take it. Housed. Exactly. You deserve to be here. And it's just to shame people and saying that's not the way that people should live. Get out of here. Well, in the past, uh, people would say to me, oh, you know, I don't want to lose my government assistance. I'm like, isn't the goal to lose your government assistance? Like the goal should be you make so much flipping money that you don't need your $5,000 a month or whatever it is. You know, that's my, my perspective. Um, but I would say network marketing is the best way to do that. Um, can't start up with the wrong girl. I agree. Uh, you have severe thunderstorms in Glen Rose, Texas. How far is that from Frisco, Texas? Pretty far. Um, okay, let's see. Why does it keep asking you to join my broadcast? Not sure. Um, you want to by next year? Yes. Was I married before? I was. I was married, um, in, I don't know what year I got married. What year I got married? 2013, 2014 or something like that. And I was like divorced. Not like divorced. I was divorced by 2016. So, hooray! Nope. When oh. you know it's not right, you know it's I don't think she was divorced by 2016. I think she was divorced in 2017. Not does it matter? It does matter when she made such a big deal about Vic still being married. I'm trying to Google. <laughs> it's all right. It's the stupidest. I don't even people are like, why'd you get married? I'm like, I let's not even have a discussion about it. It's actually kind of funny right now. Yeah, she um, got divorced in twenty seventeen. But anyway, that conversation for <laughs> another The lie is frustrating because she positions herself to be one type of person. She's purposely using information to deceive people. It's not the issue that she got divorced. It's that she's positioning herself as, as this type of person that she is not. And it's frustrating. Um, sorry, Tish. Uh, Tish said I heavily, I got heavily judged when I was on unemployment. I had worked for 20 years paying taxes. I deserve that unemployment when I needed it. Absolutely. Okay. Um, let's see. How many dogs do I have? Good question too. Great business question. I think my dogs are some of my, um, my best business choices. They make me better. Just make me a better person. Have I, hey, Frisco neighbor, have you tried the grounding sheets? No, I'm not sure what that is. Um, dumb question, do you go to keto diet to use your products? Absolutely not, and not a dumb question. You guys can work from the link in the bio or the trial link. They are all getting free keto kicks, which is one, which is my favorite product. It's like five hour energy with no crash uh, when you order tonight. Clearance bundles are up. Are, are they rescues? God, yes. Yes, they are both rescues. Uh, they are perfect, perfect in every way. Perfect in every way. Um, I love them so much. They are the best. All right, Elka. Oh, I know what you got. I just printed it. Um, she got 15 Mexican ketones. They are the strongest of them, in case you guys were wondering. They're ooh, very powerful. Um, you're interested in learning from me? Cool. I love that. You can check the link to bio, Christopher. Um, I can do coaching, or you can do, um, you can also check out what it is that I do inside of the sexual business. Um, I use ShipStation to, to print packages. Can I help you make money? Yes. Click the link in the bio. Click on what I do. You're a little over two hours away from Frisco. Uh -huh. uh, love Keto Kick? Yes. You love it when I do my lives. I like being live. Uh, I really do. It's good to be back on here chattering with you guys. Um, I, told, I talked about this a little bit when Ed was on the live a minute ago, but one sec, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When it's something that you genuinely love, it's kind of like 
why wouldn't you keep doing I doing it? I think that this is probably more therapeutic than pretty much anything that I could be doing. Um, period of the discussion, basically. Like um, I could be sitting around. I had time to do this, and so I wanted to do this. Um, and S sitting around, resting, recuperating, letting your body he heal if it can and not over like, overly exerting yourself when you have a dire diagnosis like this isn't shameful at all. It didn't. Oh, you're good, Janet. I, I just have been reading some of the comments. It's just hard to listen to her. Hope you have a good night's sleep, Janet. Am I still with my sweet man's? Yes, absolutely. And he's sweeter than you even know. Um, do I talk to my ex-husband? I do not. I have not talked to him since we sold our... <laughs> we hadn't talked in a long time to begin with. And, then, uh, like, and it was actually not even dramatic. It was the most non-dramatic divorce ever. God bless. Because some people like to be very dramatic in divorces, as we have all seen, I'm sure. <gasps> but my that is a dig at Avi's wife. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ugh. It's so cruel. Like, <gasps> oh my God. I, um, super non dramatic. We just never talked. Like, it was done. And then we sold our house during COVID, right at the peak of COVID. We still had a house together and, um, and so sold it, which was amazing. So glad that we did because I don't know, like, it was the very last thing that we ever had to talk about. Uh, matter of fact, bad as you are, second business question. When leading a big team, I know you don't say vanilla online. Were you ever stressed with CRA team members? No, you're going to attract the right people. So, uh, you know, I do business with all kinds of people. I, As crazy as I am, I'm not anywhere near as out there as I actually am uh, in real life, if, the, if, there, if that makes sense. You're either going to like me or you're not. I do like to be a little better dressed than this usually on live. Um, he's in the apartment right now. He yelled at her on the first live that we listened to yesterday. He was like, I can read. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. That's not how I meant so it. Sorry. And yeah. And then she was, was asking him for inventory like an hour ago. Yeah. She was asking him where her inventory was. <laughs> so he's here <laughs> and he's about to go back apparently to California soon. Video, but, um, but yeah, you know, I felt like coming live and I liked this shirt and I wanted to find out who sent it to me. I figured it would be somebody who who, uh, who was watching me live because you guys have sent so many amazing gifts and flowers and stuff that makes me happy every freaking day. Blankets and robes and spa stuff. Ah, you're the best. Uh, and so I like coming on and just saying thank you, you know? I really like saying thank you. Um, and so, yeah. Okay. Um, how would you drive in new patients for an integrated clinic, Cairo Rehab Medical Weight Loss, blah, 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 uh, testimonials within... Yeah, if y'all in live chat don't know, Kira is a big anti-MLM activist, and she actually, with Savannah and Kat and Amanda, got Boo taken down, which was Black Oxygen Organics. She has a website, um, and I'm going to tag it in the chat. I think it's Mombi or it's Kira. And so she does a lot of behind-the-scene work. Um, she has a lot of informants and a lot of different multi-level marketing companies, and she basically collects content, submits it to the FTC, and helps other people get the information out. So she's a pretty big, she's a pretty big um, activist in the space, um, kind of behind the scenes. So influencers, like, I'll be super honest with you guys right now. Um, I go to this place called I Cryo in Frisco, Texas, and when I am cured of cancer and I am done. All of the shenanigans. I squirted ketones accidentally all over my face as it happened. Sorry, it happened like an hour ago. The owner, Travis, who owns iCryo, y'all should all go get memberships to this place anyway. You should do cryo. You should do red light. You should do all this stuff. Um, if you want my yep. address, just DM me and I'll send it to you, okay? Parents were feeding their kids this dirt and they were getting sores on their body because the dirt had awful stuff in it and... Um, they threatened to, to sue Savannah and they threatened a lot of other people. So it's, it was wild that they got it taken down. This man reached out and he saw Kira and Kat and, and others in Savannah also submitted the stuff to the FTC and the FTC is suing three doTERRA distributors for the misinformation they were they were shilling 
15,000 bucks a piece that they are being sued for because of their COVID protocols they created with essential oils. So Kira is the one in Cat and Savannah and others. I don't know everyone who's in it, but I know Kira uh, is the main person on that um, to, to help do all that stuff. My surgery post on Instagram, the one that has 30,000 likes or something. And he messaged me and he said, I know you're already a member, but I want to give you my entire wellness clinic for free. I want you to come get ozone. I want you to come do IVs. I want you to do all this stuff at no cost. I don't want your money. Uh, I, this man is gifting nope, me, no did. exaggeration, over $2,000 a week in medical stuff. Now, you don't have to take this route, okay? I'm just telling you when this is all done, I will do like anything for this guy. Uh, I will sp I will make advertisements for him. I will make sure all y'all go get memberships at iCryo. I will like pimp out iCryo like never before because it's the right thing to do, right? Like what a good man. Uh, and he won't take my money. Like I tried to buy some extra vitamin C drips and he refused. He's like, no, um, this is the right thing to do. You changed exactly. your whole business. I watched, you've coached yes, you're me. Right. I coached him on some culture stuff. And he said it changed my whole business. There wouldn't be an iCryo business if it weren't for you. Uh, and so just holy smokes, you know, just kind of putting that in perspective for you. And um, so now he's going to get like a big old like, ooh, ooh. so you don't have to do it to that extent, obviously. Yep. But just maybe like a little bit of food for thought, if you will. Um, what a great man. Exactly. So you just ordered and what? Sorry. Where did that go? A hibiscus lemon and wild tiger prickly pear. Yes. She does. The trials do recommend you to iodine. There's no iodine in it. I would it's do a awful. clearance bundle in the link in the trial and, and the link in the bio and I would please add Mitoplex. So Travis is awesome. What a good man. And I just, I thought that was like top notch, world class, like literally world class. And so I'm excited to just like blow that up. I see you guys booking accelerator calls, by the way. You're so cute. Uh, you're so cute. I appreciate you. Let's go. Hold on, I'm gonna print this last label, pack these up. Hold on a second. Eh. Okay. Yeah, and it's so disrespectful to people who actually would benefit from having someone gift a service to them when Jesse Lee can afford it. It's it, it, she could have at least paid for someone else's treatment. I just the lack of empathy that she has for other people is it's hard to it's hard to be around and listen to for extended periods of time. He is an awesome guy, and so I want more people to give him business because he freaking deserves it. Oh, Loka! Hey, what's up? We got Loka watching. Ooh -wee. Oh, sugar! Oh, sugar! Honey, honey! <laughs> Joyous Jesse Wild. Lee Pate. <laughs> I am it is far and above cheaper to keep people healthy with preventative services than to have to treat them when they are on death's doorstep. Sorry, exactly. I don't want to get into you. I, I I'm just I'm mad about it because my grandpa he he had Parkinson's and he was getting speech therapy for swallowing so he could stay alive because he was losing control of his muscles um, from his disease. He was in his 90s and insurance kept denying him from that treatment when it was literally keeping him alive. And it's just wild what insurance does and what they say they're going to cover and stuff like that. It's very painful for lots of families who even have the ability to get insurance. There's some people that don't have insurance at all and they don't have access to anything because they can't freaking afford it. I hear a floof. Joyous. It's true. Um, what is my diagnosis? Um, let's, I'm not, it's not a business question. I'm not going to answer it again. Uh, send you the information a link in the bio. My diagnosis is too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. It's, 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 it's. Uh, uh, I don't know what cancer Wookie Lee had. That's about, um, I do. If I, if I look into it, I type in dog cancers and I'll tell you it's not lymphoma. She didn't have lymphoma. The bubble man has arrived. Yes. Loka is the best. He is 
the best. How tall am I? Five foot four and a half, 163 centimeters. Um, yes, it is Loka time. Y'all, if you don't follow Loka, if you don't know Loka, let me just tell you, y'all all need a friend like Loka. He busted into my, I keep saying hotel in my head, my hospital I love that. bed room suite thing uh, and blew up in there with some, with some bubbles everywhere, some bubs, just put everybody in a good mood. And diagnosis is she's awesome. I agree. Um, and it's amazing because he actually texted me a hilarious oh, theme right after I got some. This is helping me blow off steam with a fight I had with my dad because of his neglecting me and my sister and his drinking and my mom because her neglecting me. So my life is spiraling. I'm so sorry. I hope this gives you a little bit of a reprieve in terms of not having to think about that. And that's you're in a tough spot. And I'm sorry. Stupid, stupid diagnosis that we don't believe anyway the other day. And oh. uh, it was like the most perfect timing. It completely, sh I'm sorry, uh, Lavender. completely shifted. That's awful. So everybody needs a logo. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. All right. There we go. Sarah Lynn, here you go. Um, and a free keto kick with all trials today. He is pure joy. Yes, mast cell tumor. That is what Wiki Lee had. Thank you for guessing. Because I knew as soon as I saw it, I'd be able to say yes or no. All right, Keisha, if you, um, if there's something in particular you would like, let me know. I think you were saying you don't want pudding pop or anything grape. Got it. Um, is your honey just watching you pack trials, sitting with the fur babies? A lot of questions about Mosh Mayam. Um, her scans say she is full of badassery. Yeah, I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. I received that. <sighs> um, how much did you lose on ketones? I've, I, I've not always been swimming. 215 pounds. Wow. <laughs> and I showed some photos because people don't believe that. You didn't but lose it from ketones. You didn't lose the weight from ketones. It's fraudulent to say that you did. Exactly. Oh, she drives me crazy. I mean, she makes me really upset. Enraged. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Photos the other day. Oh my Almost goodness! Over. The eyeballs in the room were falling out of head. Tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, that's true. She is not so, cancer free. She knows yeah. she is not. She refused to take the call from the doctor where the test showed that she still that she had other uh, affected areas. And she um, is basically saying that she's not looking at the tests. So it's really a slap in the face to people who w their life would be saved by being ha able to have access to these types of scans. It's just wild. Maybe that's why my belly button looks so strange to me. <sighs> Let's see. I own aesthetics studio in a small town. I want to grow the business, but it's different in a small town of only 5,000 people compared to large cities. Can you expand? Could you trademark what you're doing and expand to another location with other people and train them to the same culture? So, yeah. Oh, I have photos. Like, trust me. I was, I was a big girl. Uh, what is your number one business tip? Don't quit. Be super consistent. What am I trialing here? These are pure therapeutic ketones. They put you in ketosis in an hour or less. The benefits are fat loss, muscle preservation, better sleep, skin, mood, focus, energy, and better digestion. The link is in the bio. You can grab them. All orders tonight are coming with a free keto kit. This is like five-hour energy, but with no oh, power. Like I guess it's a super underrated um, product, so I'm sending it uh, for free for all you guys. I did say 215 pounds, and it's true. I have photos. They're just super ridiculously unflattering, obviously. So, uh, but I'll show you. You'll be fine. You won't die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Does some yeah. company ship products? Of course. We sell ten million dollars a month. I just do this so I can talk to you guys and get you guys some clearance bundles. Okay. Someone else can prove it passed away from cancer that had metastasized to her spine. 
and her she was her spine was in pain and it broke on vacation and she passed away last December who was a ketone drinker um it's incredibly sad steps in just packing trials <laughs> That's true. Keto cake is the best. I agree. I agree. Keisha, thank you for your order. This is headed out to Florida, darling. Um, best first time order is definitely that clearance bundle with the 15 Mitoplex. Otherwise, you will get headaches. You will feel low energy. Pick that up. Um, and we don't want that for any of you, okay? Um, yes. Yes, link in the bio. Trial link. Trial link. Uh, how do you know what to go live about? Well, it depends. I just decide what I want to talk about. I knew I wanted to talk about business today. Uh, I've, I have a lot of copycats on TikTok that make fake accounts to try to, I guess, sell to you guys very, or get your money. It's very strange. So clearance bundle, half and half, half packing, half packing free with 15 Mitoplex for hydration. Love it. Let me send you instructions as well so you don't get lost. And then you're the best energy is insane. <laughs> yeah. Um... So glad you saw you because I was trying to get that question for a while. Sorry, I didn't say anything. No, um, you do not need to eat keto at all for the ketone store. That is a great question. All right, 10 flavors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 10 caffeine free. The ones I drink, I do two a day. And, uh, I am live on three platforms, yes, on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So that's why I might miss a couple every once in a while. Keto Cake is like five hour energy with no crash. I agree. That's why I'm giving everybody a free one with your trial order tonight. Um, am I on meth? Well, you're a real asshole, aren't you? Welcome. Do we, do we always make fun of cancer patients or is this like a new thing for you? Have the day you deserve. Bye-bye. All right. Um, and then 10 caffeinated. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, nine, ten. All right. Um, as your business grows, you're struggling with motivating downline. What's your best advice? Recruit people who are also excited, stay super consistent, and make sure that you are setting the pace from the front. How many tattoos do I have? I don't know. Like, it depends how you count, like, the leg is, like, one or as a lot. Yeah, I, I, I would say this. We've talked about it a few times. I hope that we can encourage people to not lessen the distress they feel with scars or scarring or how their body is different after surgery, that we can at least plant a seed and say, like, we're happy you're here. We're happy that the surgery was a life-saving one. And having you here is far and above more valuable than um your body the way it was not to silence you or not to make you feel like your struggles are less but to remind you that like we're happy that you're alive we're happy that um and i'm emotional about it because it's so complex people's relationship with their own bodies we have to contend with magazines and the modeling industry and marketing industry and how people are perceived how they're supposed to look to be beautiful or appealing and I hope that it's at least can hold a little bit of space here for you on this live or on our corner of the internet to say like even even if you are are having a struggle with how your body is now, I'm happy that you're still here. I'm happy that you're still alive. And I'm, I, I, I that's all I can say on it. I just want to, and as I figure out how to say it better, I'll say it better in the future. So <laughs> you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> oh, I really know. All right. And that my friends, um, unless orders just went in, is all the orders for tonight. So uh, thank you very much. I'll show you guys your guys' orders to show you they're all going out. This is what we packed today together. So thank you for your orders. Um, the whole entire cart's full. So I appreciate you very much. This is all going to go out, mostly priority mail, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Um, if you want an order to go out, though, make sure you go 
Um, so the link in the bio, I will pack it before I take the dogs out for the last walk and yours will go out tomorrow too. So link in the bio, the trial link, clearance bundle with 15. Mitoplex is your best first bet. Oh, hi Val, JL forever, yay! Um, but you guys are amazing and if you have questions about anything else, feel free to reach out as well. And that's it. I'm Jesse Lee. You can call me hashtag Boss Lee or oh, people's God. mentor. I help people make six and seven figures online from their phones. And if you need anything, let me know. Ciao guys. We fucking made it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh boy. If you if it, it's you know, we react to these on- online and into what end, informing the consumer is one of them. Speaking out against medical misinformation is another reason. Trying to protect people from getting stuck in multi-level marketing and trying to help at least give them additional information so they can make a better decision before they get sucked into the shiny bright light (laughs) that are around some of these top leaders. Um, It's just, it is wild. And, And the fact that she is now basically doubling down, she's always been on more of the misinformation side of things all throughout the Panini, even before that, Um, but she's doing it now to personally profit off of her cancer diagnosis in a way that is scaring others maybe to not participate in the medical system. It seems insidious to me. That's why I am wanting to speak out about it. I appreciate Danielle joining me so often for these like, Hey, Jesse Lee went live. You want to, you want to react to it? So, um, more like, Hey, Jesse Lee went live. (laughs) Yes, sliding into our DMs. Happy birthday, Kirsten. Let me find the right uh, applause. Happy birthday. (laughs) (laughs) Hope you have a great birthday. Sorry that it started with Jesse Lee Ward. (laughs) (laughs) What an unfortunate way to celebrate. I basically did a, 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 a not a, the best way of finding Avi on Bumble. So if y'all have screenshots, can you send them to us? We would love to cover that. And it will also help um, us compile our file for the lawyer and for the ex-wife. If she reaches out to us and needs that information, that would be lovely to help her out. Um so, yeah, what are your closing thoughts, Danielle, other than I've kept you up past your bedtime <laughs> and we, we're all slimed now. <laughs> <laughs> I will your... sleep well tonight knowing yes. that it's over. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I just want to address this comment that Shelby made saying how many people make six to seven figures that she has coached. That's the, that's the statistic I want. I would like to know that as well because for yeah. her to say – I teach people how to make six and seven figures online. I mean, I could say that as well, but how many people are, again, it's this idea that anyone on the internet can say whatever they want. So I would be curious to know that as well. It's fraudulent too. It's part of information control too, to use deception to get uh, uh, someone to make a decision that you profit off of. It's So I will share part of the information, but not the whole story till you pay me first. Yeah, and fraud is a big, like, it's a big deal. Like, you can get in trouble for fraud in general. But to say, hey, pay me a premium because I help everyone make big money in multi-level marketing or in any business. Do you? Because we would we would like to see that from your downline. We sure would. Exactly. We sure would. Oh, my God. Um, and their profit and loss statements. We would love to see that as well. <laughs> Live chat, you have been incredible. You've been, you know, we've all trudged through the muck together. Um, we your did comments, it. Your insight, we did it. Oh, I need to get Dora the Explorer saying like, we did it. Um, we did I, it. I, we did it. Yes. Um, replay crew. I don't even have to say anything. I know, I know you're going to have a lot to say. <laughs> it's been wild so far. We will keep you apprised if anything drops. Um, 
And we hope you all have a good rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this. And please take care of your mental health. Drink something warm. Get a cozy blanket. Take some deep breaths and de-stress from this live. <laughs> so take thanks care, everybody. comb your hair. See you later. Oh my God, I love that so much. Take care, comb your hair. That's amazing. I say okay, it at the end me... of all my videos. <laughs> I love that. Okay, bye. Bye. Ugh.